Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about a very nice interesting subject which is the JVP. So first we need to know what is the JVP, which is the jugular venous pressure. Why we need to measure the JVP? Um, the JVP reflect the pressure that is building up inside the right atria. So we use the internal jugular vein in order to see what is happening in the pressure inside the right atrium. Um, another question that should be asked is that um, why we measure that? We measure the JVP because it can be um, elevated in case of pathological um, aspect, I mean in case of for example heart failure. Um, why we use the internal jugular vein rather than the external jugular vein? This is because that the internal jugular vein is valveless vein and the external jugular um, contain valves which can um, reflect false idea about the pressure that is inside the right atrium. Um, before I start, I start talking about the waves, I just need you to know that any rising slope in the wave means that there is a rising in the pressure and every down sloping in the wave means that there is a low pressure. So, before um, drawing the waves, I, I, I need you to understand also the, the normal physiology that's happening in the heart. So this is the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Blood will be collected from the body and then it will be um, put it into the right atrium. When, when the blood is in the right atrium, it contracts in order to make the blood pass from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle then the tricuspid valve is closed. Then the right ventricle contract in order to uh, push the blood through the pulmonary artery into the pulmonary circulation. Um, then the circle will be started again. The veins will um, carry the blood again to the right atria. Then the right atria will empty into the tricuspid valve through the tricuspid to the right ventricle. Um, so let's start um, drawing the waves. First wave is an uprising wave, which is called a wave. So this wave reflects atrial contraction. So let's assume that the blood is present here in the in the right atria. The right atria need to contract its wall in order to push the blood into the right ventricle. So this contraction will lead to rise in a pressure inside the right atrium and then rise in pressure inside the internal jugular vein, which will lead to A wave. A wave stand for atrial contraction. So A stand for a. Now, then there will be a down sloping waves which reflect X. After the atria contract, it will relax because the blood passes from it to the right ventricle. So, no need for extra contraction. So, this relaxation will decrease the pressure inside the right atria. So, X stands for atrial relaxation so X for X then after next wave there will be a little rising wave which is C waves C wave is due to tricuspid valve closure so when the valve closed there will be a little building up or rising in the pressure inside the right atria and then the right inter in the in internal jugular vein. So this small rise will reflect the C wave. So C tricuspid closure. So C for both C, tricuspid and closure. After the tricuspid valve is closed, the right ventricle will contract pushing the blood through the pulmonary artery to the pulmonary circulation. 
In this phase, there will be no more pressure building up in the right atria. However, there is a decrease in the pressure because the right atria is not involved in this process. So this will lead to down sloping wave, which is X prime. So X prime stands for ventricular contraction. Um, there is no mnemonic for this wave. Um, and then we will start with another rising wave which is called a V wave. So the reason behind this is that when this circle and new circle will start again, I mean there will be more blood from the body that is collected and passed through the superior and inferior vena cava and then will return to the right atria. So when the blood will be in the right atrial, this will lead to rising in pressure within this chamber. So this will lead to a V wave. So V stands for venous return and passive filling of the right atria. And then there will be a down sloping wave which is called Y wave which is the, uh, the reason behind this is that uh, the atria empty the blood into the right ventricle so there will be a relaxation and decrease in the pressure so Y stand for atrial emptying so Y stand for Y so again there is A, X, C, X prime, V and Y waves which stand for atrial contraction, atrial relaxation, tricuspid closure, ventricular contraction, venous return, and atrial emptying. Uh, in fact, the two waves that could be seen during examination is the A wave and the V wave. Um, now, we need to talk about the pathological aspect. JVP is raised in, in different situations, as in too much fluid for example fluid overload in case of IV infusion or due to an obstruction as in case of superior vena cava obstruction or could be due to an inability to pump blood of course by the heart as in right ventricular failure bradycardia constrictive pericarditis pericardial fusion and tricuspid stenosis or regurgitation which I'm going to talk with extra details about the changes in in the waves um, later um, other cause could be others So, for example, hyperdynamic circulation. Now, let's talk more about what is happening in case of mitral, I'm sorry, tricuspid stenosis or regurg. So, when the mitral valve, uh, the tricuspid valve is stenosed the atria will need extra contraction extra power in order to pump the blood from this chamber into the right ventricle so this extra contraction will lead to rise in a pressure and will lead to rise as a waves so in case of tricuspid stenosis there will be a rise a wave in case of tricuspid regurgitation, when the tricuspid valve regurg blood from the right ventricle to the right atria, I mean there will be no phase of relaxation as in X and X prime, and even this is small C wave, there will be a total rise in, 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 in pressure during the right atria during the full cycle. So in case of Tricuspid regurgitation, there will be no this phase.
there will be a fused A V waves. Due to inability to decrease in pressure in the, in the right atria, and thus will lead to A V wave fusion. So, this is all regarding the jagger venous pressure. I hope you really find this useful. Thank you very much.